Hey guys, so I want to make this little video just to be kind of a word of the wise for those of you who are running a, a Z690 motherboard. Uh, about a while back, like three months ago, I had made a video for YouTube uh, about my Z690 unified motherboard, talking about how when you update the BIOS uh, to a certain uh, BIOS update, it would ruin the RAID 0 setup. This was three months ago, and uh, some people who tried it, it didn't work for them, which was unfortunate, but uh, there was another BIOS update that was also released. So this is the one that uh, originally was to support the 13 gen CPUs, dated uh, Lun that Chen. Or maybe it was this one too. Could have been that one also. Anyway, so there was another BIOS update that was just recently released. Actually, yesterday I saw it on the MSI website. And I was kind of like weary about installing it. But I did anyways. I did that yesterday. And luckily I had a backup file of uh, my uh, OS install. So I wasn't really too worried about ruining and everything. But anyway, so I installed it yesterday. And it did the same damn thing. It basically ruined my entire uh, RAID setup on my uh, Western Digital s 50 x RAID uh set up drives so i had to basically uh reinstall the os but it really wasn't that much of a pain because i had a backed up uh os on my uh uh this regular mechanical hard drive so i did back it up and i did refresh that yesterday so it was no issue to get back to where it was but just uh word of the wise just don't up to your values right now if you're on a z690 motherboard because apparently i don't know what the deal is i don't know if this is an msi problem or if this is going on with all the z690 motherboards but I updated the BIOS and then it totally just ruined my whole RAID setup. It basically would say under the RAID options in the BIOS, it would show um, that uh, the drive was basically uh, failed. It would say, uh, it would show the two one terabyte drives, it would say failed. And then if you just want to read the write up, I'll put a link to this video just so you basically understand what the issue was. But if you want to pause the video and just see that part there, just to basically talk about what happened in that previous video. And then I had an update, which I did uh, yesterday, to talk about uh, what happened after I updated the BIOS again. And fortunately, that update is uh, why I'm making this video. So just don't update your BIOS. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to fix it, but I know people on Asus motherboards had this issue. And I think there's a few other brands that people commented on the video. So just don't update your BIOS unless you really want to deal with a huge headache, which I dealt with yesterday. Um, so just aware of the wise and hope that's helpful to others. And unfortunately, to fix the issue, you just kind of reinstall the OS. That's just the only way around it. So, this is where the wise don't update your BIOS and MSI. You need you guys need to really get this figured out. Hope this is helpful uh, to the people out there. Thanks for watching and peace out.